welcome back to DJ Tronic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a picture of yourself like mine right here and I'm going to show you how to change it into something you know graphical or something that looks cool in 3D. Now first off I'm going to start off by opening up my my uh, Adobe Fireworks CS3 and I'm going to start by fire oh, I mean I'm um, opening a fireworks document PNG uh, it's a little bit late today right now <laughs> so I'm probably sounding a little bit uh, off today but I'm gonna make the width 500 and the height 800 I'm gonna make this 72 custom black uh, you know I'm, I'm gonna try, try uh, white th today and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my picture that I have on here, which is right here. I'm going to drag it on to my Adobe Fireworks. And as I said in my other videos, I'm pretty sure anything I do with this, you can do in GIMP or Photoshop. So now I'm going to scale it down I'm gonna by pressing Control T, or you can do uh, the Scale tool, or you can press Command T if you're on the Mac. And I'm going to click here, and I'm going to hold Shift, and I'm going to move it down all right just so I can get the, the picture a little bit more fit and now what I'm gonna do is first off I always start by trying to take this magic tool and then I just get the parts and click these parts so I can get these parts out of the way and it'll be way easier for doing this make sure it does not cut off your body or your arm at all Now what you need to do is wait let me just okay. Now what you need to do is you need to take this eraser tool, make sure it's like about that size, turn the edge feathering up. This is the gradient feathering. And make sure you are not in the magic tool anymore. You see that little atl atlas thing. I'm not what sure what it's called, but there's a little dotted lines here. If you see the dotted lines, that means that you're gonna have to, to click on the move tool, the arrow tool, and double click now make sure you still clicked on there and then press the eraser tool now you can come in and you can erase and I'm gonna redo that part by pressing control Z and now I'm just gonna do this all over okay um now what you need to do is uh, I use controls and then I scroll and I can move it in like this to get closer so I scroll in and then once you go in you just got to change the size down a little bit and uh, uh, basically what you got to do from here is now you just have to go and erase some more up close and I just wanted to give you all that tip before I finish up and I'm wondering how do you get these closer marks so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause again and I'm gonna come back and when I'm gonna be done and then I'm gonna tell you some more about how to make the graphic look good all right now I am back and I am done deleting at least enough for the uh, tutorial it's gonna go ahead and edit this part right here because that was annoying me a little bit all right now I'm gonna go in here and then what you can do from here is I'm gonna move this over so you won't see that part and I'm gonna move it down a little bit what you can do from here is you can click on these little settings over here and then it'll change your picture up a little bit and that makes it look like a movie feel right there or you can use that 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 a whole bunch of different choices and basically what this does is it gives you a better way to make a picture look you know cooler and everything for your friends to see I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one right here for now now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna erase a little bit more as you can see right here these parts I don't need that I can do that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to blur 
and that's just going to smooth the edges out a little bit and I'm going to go to blur more what I'm going to do is I want to make it look a little bit cooler I wanted to get a different type of vibe for the picture now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the undo button a couple times get back to this one and I'm going to copy by controlling I mean uh, copy no control C control V to uh, copy the layers and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm going to use one of these one of these two and I'm gonna click on this button over here and then I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna press uh, what is it called uh, screen my screen is gonna be overlay I think yep overlay so now I have like kind of a cool vibe to it I'm gonna group these two together so now I can just move it around freely and now what you can do is you can get make the background black that's just what I like to do and then now I'm going to put at the top I'm going to make the font bigger DJ Tro and then I'm going to choose one of my fonts I mean not fonts one of my styles that I like to use on here You know, I think I'm gonna keep it red, the black and red. And okay, DJ Tro. Now I'm gonna put Don E Production somewhere on here. That's my brother. Don E Productions. Now I'm gonna make that white. I'm gonna bring the font down. I'm gonna put this down here and then I'm gonna put music all day and then DJ stay Flowing all day. Music all day, DJ stay flowing all day. And then you can just do that. And I could leave it here if I wanted to but for right now I want it to look better than this I want it to have more of a design to it uh, I'm gonna put a drop shadow on here drop shadow change that to white I'm gonna change the direction to going that way move it away a little bit bring it a little bit closer right there seems about fine so I'm going to now I'm gonna to go to DJ Tro and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna add except I'm gonna add a inner glow I think and then I'm going to now I think four was just fine but I'm gonna change the color here and I'm gonna make it make it see what will look tight well I can leave it right there for right now And then 
what you can do from here is you can get any type of picture okay now what I have found I have found a recording studio picture and I'm going to use this in the background I'm going to drag this over again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control T and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit stretch move this up and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down to all the way to the bottom below my picture as well and now I'm going to change the fill of the background here I'm going to uh, going to press maybe this nah yeah that's looking pretty good right there now I'm going to change the color of this and make this a little bit darker so you can see it not maybe not a little bit darker but a little bit lighter and now you have a nice graphic for your picture and I think I really like this picture and I'm going to probably be using this um yeah this is a very 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 good poster to me I just don't like the way this tro is looking I'm gonna take the inner glow off now on this I'm going to brighten it up a little bit adjust color and brightness Maybe turn up the contrast. I think I turned the contrast up a little bit too much. And I'm going to turn this background down just a little bit. It's popping out a little bit too much for this picture. And I'm going to try and make this fit on here by using the distort. I'm gonna try and make it fit on top of this top of the studio. See? Doesn't that look cool? Well, this has been another episode of DJ Tronic. I hope you have enjoyed this video about me trying to show you how to make your pictures look a little bit more interesting by adding a few more things to it and you can make it into your picture logo or anything. I personally love this picture turned out way better than I thought it would be I'm sorry my tutorial has been a little bit slow I may make a voiceover just to make it go a little bit faster <laughs> and chop up a few things but thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe if you like this video it's been a little bit late so if I sound a little bit drowsy you know why but thank you